Two years ago with uh, UNESCO, UNESCO Delhi as the partner, we brought out a report on the status of education in India with a focus on teachers, teaching and teacher education. And that experience convinced us that, you know, there's value in bringing out such a report regularly, uh, once in two years at least, uh, to bring greater focus on the sector of teaching and on the profession of teachers. A particular report this year is based on a very vast uh, data set. We've used UDICE, we've analyzed the periodic labor force survey, and we've also conducted our own field survey. You know, we've uh, visited eight states and gathered data from schools as well as teacher education institutions. Uh, a couple of things that I feel are important that we've been able to show in this report. One is that we have been able to show the status of uh, teachers working in the private school sector. They're largely invisible in data, in discussion, uh, and the PLFS has enabled us to look at their employment terms and conditions. Needless to say, there's a lot of evidence that we must take the sector much more seriously. A few statistics that you know stand out. 16% um, of all teachers in India are in the state of UP. Uh, for every 10 government school teachers, 7.5 teachers work in the private sector. Uh, and there are many states in which the percent proportion of women in the teaching profession is about 80% or more and there are also a few states where it's less than 40%. So there are like wide discrepancies when we look at gender proportion and representation in the teacher workforce. I think from this report uh, there are three specific uh, data points that speak to policy. Uh, the first is the situation of teachers, teacher availability and deployment in the Northeast and in states like uh, Bihar, Jharkhand. Uh, there is a serious need both for more teachers but also the right teachers to be deployed in rural schools, ensuring subject teachers are available. So that's one really important finding. The second is that we have been, for the first time I think, found evidence that teachers being produced from the DITs are actually of much better quality compared to the self-financed institutions. We analyzed data from TET from one state and I think the results which we report in this report speak for themselves. So it's really good that the Ministry of Education is investing in diet strengthening uh, going forward. The third data point, I think, which is a matter of concern is the availability of teachers for physical education, music and art. I think there are just not enough of these teachers in the system. And I think the right to education shows us these are very important areas of the curriculum. We should be paying more attention to this. So as I mentioned, we are planning to bring this report out once in two years and along with the general analysis of the status of teachers in the country, we are planning a deep dive into one thematic area. This year's report focuses on teacher availability and deployment. Next year we are thinking of uh, focusing the report on teachers for neglected areas of the curriculum, physical education, art, music, early childhood and special education. Uh, so I hope you will all join us when we re release next year's report as well.